Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Thursday, July 11th, 2024. I'm here to do a collective read for you. You know I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, and it's a timeless read, okay? So it's, for whenever you come across this reading, it will be applicable. If the title jumps out at you, the chances are that there's something in this reading that you need to hear, okay? Uh, thank you for being here. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for all the love and support you show me. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Let's see what Spirit wants to talk about. I will skip this spiel for now. I'm just uploading one read I just finished, so let's see what else we can see. All right. What else we can get from the cards today? Hopefully you're having a beautiful day. Let's see. Spirit guides, guardian angels. Oopsie. So self-worth. 32. Could be dealing with a marriage or commitment or contract. Somebody can't buy you. I just heard. You're not for sale. You have a lot of dignity. You have a lot of integrity. You know your worth and value. The overarching energy. Or somebody was involved with something and now they're feeling funny about it. And they're going, no, you know what? It's, it's offensive to my soul. Take it for whatever it is, okay? Could be in the reverse where somebody broke the law. Um... Somebody could have been doing magic. It could be a, a warlock or a dark high priest and or a divorce or separation. Something to do with a contract or belief system. So bottom of the deck is the over uh, the underlying energies. Hope here, 27. Going in, doing going within and doing that soul work. Touching base with who you are and or with spirit. Somebody's trying to block the flow of something. Either your direction where you're going in life or your blocked feelings possibly. You're tapping into your intuition though, okay? Hope. Somebody's holding on to hope. Okay. Yeah, something to do with lust. 24. It could be a third party situation, a contract. It's the six. It's the lovers. It could mean that you're ascending. You're making a wise decision here. Okay. Somebody's feeling lustful, though. Not good. 23. Again, it's a marriage or commitment. Somebody's listening. Somebody was listening in, or you're listening to your intuition finally. A higher power is trying to get through to you. It's a contract or a divorce or separation. Yeah, there's chaos here, okay? Somebody likes chaos. Could be an agent of chaos. Their world is upside down, yours or theirs, or they bring chaos to your world. Again, going within and doing that soul work. Rather be on my own than go through this. That's what I just heard, okay? Somebody was hiding and cloaking so much. Somebody could be a whirling dervish. Yeah, 26. Best to have honesty here. Tapping into your integrity, loyalty, honest, you know what I mean? You're going to be honest about how you feel. Eight, somebody has nothing but lust and power and control. They want power and control. They're lustful. They're on, They're in their ego. Corrupt. Could be a tyrant, a bully. They're only concerned with their image and what money and, and can buy, you know what I mean? And who's on their arms. So something's coming to an end here. Twelve. Maybe you made lots of sacrifices for this person, this relationship. You're feeling stuck and overwhelmed. Somebody doesn't want to let go. Don't want to look at things from a different perspective. Wasting time. You're with a time waster. It's time to end this, okay? So there's a big chapter in your life that's coming to an end. You're, you're, you're letting it go. You're giving it up to God. You're surrendering this. You're not wasting any more time. Hmm. Yep, fledgling. You're manifesting something new. Okay, you have all the tools you need for success on your own. You don't need somebody else, right? I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. Um, you, this is higher. This is high awareness. This is higher. You, you already know what's going on. You don't need proof. I think your feelings say it all. I think you're coming to some sort of realization, some conclusion about what you're going through. You don't want to go through this anymore. I don't blame you. Let's see, we'll get the uh, Message of Love Oracle deck on this here. Self-worth and 32. So maybe you were in a third-party situation. You're going, you know what? I, this isn't for me. Or somebody else is in a third-party situation. Put you in a third-party situation, I should say. And you're saying, no. So I want to fix our connection and runner. It's a runner-chaser dynamic. They may be coming back towards you and saying, I want to fix this. Now you have to tap within yourself, yeah, understanding here. Um, I see your side of the story. I don't know. Forgiveness. They want forgiveness or you want it. I'm struggling to get over the past. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Unfinished business. 
We still have things to resolve and discuss. Chemistry. I have never felt a passion this intense, and they're reminiscing right now where you are. Miss our inside jokes. Secrets. I haven't told you everything. So there's still stuff they're hiding. I don't know. You're going to have to go within and reflect, okay? Do you want this? Do you not want this? It doesn't seem like somebody's altruistic yet again. They're trying to block you from moving forward. Somebody's got blocked emotions. I don't know. Constipated emotions. I don't know. They're full of shit. So, let's see. Where are we going with this? This is self-worth. 23... 32, sorry. Where are we going? Mending, runner. Self-care in reverse. Somebody doesn't, yeah. You haven't been taking care of you. Haven't been listening to your inner guidance system. Meaning you come first. You, you don't come last. You don't come third. You don't come fifth. Okay? You have to start taking care of yourself. They don't like the fact that you are maybe starting to take care of yourself. You know what I mean? And they don't like that. So it's, I'm picking up a chaos agent. All they need to, all they are after is fucking people over, right? How dare you? Yeah, you want to live like a bohemian, or maybe you do. Take it for whatever, whatever it is. You have different lifestyles. I'm picking up. Okay, they could be a hippie. They could be into free love. Um, you know, get it where you can. Whatever. You know, it doesn't mean I don't love you. It's just an act. It's, it's just sex. Could be witch or warlock here. Kindred spirits, labor, you're working here into self-preservation. So this is self-preservation for somebody. You could be on your north node or they could be looking for you or they're acting out of their south node. They want, they're exploring their, their sexuality here, okay? And somebody's feeling haunted. They could have been doing lust spells on you or got witches or a warlock to do spells on you so you would come back to them. They're haunted. This is creativity. You're trying you're very creative they're trying to hide your creativity invisible because they want to play some more okay okay so maybe you're you're you knew this was going to happen you're a prophet you're an oracle and or you're tapping into some sort of obviously you're here watching tarot but maybe you're doing your own tarot cards here maybe you're coming into your tribe here maybe they have their friends watching you observation or your ancestors are on their ass take it for whatever it is Okay, or maybe you're observing that, you know what, your parents went through this and your grandparents went through this and you're stopping this cycle, okay? You don't want this anymore. You're not going to be used anymore or placed last, okay? Maybe it was quite acceptable, you know, because your mom or your dad went through it. You, you don't want to do this anymore. I don't blame you. Self-worth, 32. Mending. This mending, it doesn't have to be them wanting to make... You know, come back to you. It could be you're mending your heart and you're not going back there. You're, it could be spirit saying, run from this person. They don't care about you. You care about you, okay? Start taking better care of yourself. Don't put yourself last. If somebody's fake flexing, acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy and shows off. You don't need this bullshit, okay? They're wearing a, a mask. They're just fake, okay? They're stalking you right now, watching and obsessed. They're trying to bait you, or somebody's taking the bait, or they're always, I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. They're fishing. Fishing for di divination abuser. There we go. They're trying to get into your head, into your life. They want to know what you're doing. And there's, there's karma to pay for that, okay? You're not allowed to do that. Boss, daddy, or boss, boss, mommy, stable, rich, business owner, CEO, big dick, energy. They want to either they're, you know, fake flexing as if they are this and or this is you and they want to come back into your life. Or maybe you're coming into this relationship with a boss, daddy, or mommy and they don't like it. Yeah, they want you to give them money or I don't know, forcing people to give them money. Maybe this is their supply. It sounds like narcissistic. doesn't have to be. Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. It's all played out. You're done. You're done with this person. Maybe you've been giving this person money endlessly and they keep fucking you over. You're uninterested. Goodbye. Okay. You're not doing this anymore. And I think they know that and they may be getting angry with you. How dare they? They have no rights being angry with you. 
you're done. I'm picking this up. It's just like not 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 doing this anymore. I don't blame you. Congratulations, okay? You you deserve something that's going to be there for you, that's going to love you, not lie to you, not make you feel insecure, not make you compete with other people, not always giving, 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 you get nothing back, you know? They use you up sexually, financially, emotionally, and then they're fucked off, right? And they laugh at your pain. Nah, I'm getting angry for you. I'm sorry. So we have self-worth, 32, mending, runner, self care and fake flexing where are we going with this you know i picked this up was it yesterday the day before where somebody is always looking for the next best thing you don't need that you are the best thing you know what i mean thank you thank you spirit yeah, they're hiding and cloaking yet again, okay? They're unawakened. They think you're unawakened and unaware. They might be coming around to ask you out on a date. Oh, let's just get together. Let's have some coffee. Um, this could be they don't want this coming out into the into the public. They don't want people to know what they've been doing. Take it for whatever it is. They're unwilling to go within and do some work. Speaking your truth, seeing the truth, coming out of denial, okay? You're no longer mentally conflicted about a situation. That's the overarching energy to a swords in reverse. You, you've made your mind up. You've made your mind up. you made a decision. You're letting it go. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing but stagnating you in life. They're getting some karma. They want to come back. Oh, well. There's a long-term stability or long-term relationships here. This is a family here. They're getting some karma. You're stable and secure here. Could we have a family with this person? This could be you. They, they, you know, keep ignoring you. They keep choosing other people. You know, this is rejection, abu uh, abandonment. Um, you're done. See, you're not picking up this phone. Or they're in a fit. They're in a snit because you're stable. You're secure. You might be going into a long, a higher, um, you might be in a long-lasting relationship. Finally, I don't know. Could be living with family or their family. You're being ignored and or they're ignoring you. They ignored you. You are the gift from the divine here. They're a player energy. Maybe people are knowing what this person's all about and they're not picking up the phone any longer. Maybe they're supplied. Yeah, not talking. And they're not liking this. This could be you not talking to them, you and or the rest of the supply they had, you know, their options. They wanted the fast people, fast things, things that don't last long, the shiny things, you know what I mean? The shiny eventually rubs off type of thing. They're player energy, very impulsive. They don't think before they act. Knee-jerk reactions, you know. They got sprouts on their wand. They're very impulsive. Yeah, you remained emotionally balanced, stable, and mature. Um, very loving, caring, nurturing, giving, forgiving. Um, you had a lot of love to give here, okay? But charity begins at home. Unconditional love begins with you. You need to love yourself unconditionally enough to say no more, okay? You're highly intuitive and psychic. You're going within using your intuition, okay? Yeah, somebody was juggling you and you knew it. You're not playing games anymore and they were lying to you. Yeah, you're not talking to this person. This is bad news for them. They are bad news. They were throwing rocks and hiding hands, okay? Now they want forgiveness. Now they want to come back. You're not talking to them. They could be injured or sick at this moment. Yeah, yeah. They're dealing with karmics here, okay? Or they are karmic. They're very chaotic energy. Jealous, lazy, controlling, abusive, promiscuous, possessive, right? Hiding and cloaking everything. They could be hiding, cloaking other... This could be somebody else, a doppelganger. They're looking for the same... They're looking for you and other people. They could be hitting on people that look like you. Male or female, doesn't matter. But they are not you. They just wanted to control you, I guess. Hiding and cloaking a lot. Yeah, they're angry. They could have abused you, okay? This could have been definitely mental abuse and emotional abuse. But they're reckless, okay? Yeah, this is not wish fulfillment. This is not your wish fulfillment. They could be sick. They're losing hope. Made you lose hope, okay? Maybe, I don't know. They're being exposed here. And they're not happy about it. This is not a win for them. Yeah, because you, you're not dealing with them. You're not taking on their burdens. You've, you've made a conscious decision to put down these burdens and end this cycle with this person or persons, okay? This is not a win for them. They're not happy because you exposed them or some something's exposed them. Yeah, they got an STD. You're not divine, uh, divinely. Whoa, okay. 
no errors. They're not divine. But anyways, uh, you're not um, sexually attracted to them. They don't want you having new passionate opportunities, new beginnings, because they don't. you don't want them, so they're trying to block. Yeah, this is a lot of gossip here. You're parting ways with them, and they're not happy. They could have given you an STD or got an STD from a third party. Always oh, partying. Yeah, they're stuck struggling. There's a time waster. Okay, they want you stuck in your head. I don't know. Maybe you had to get them arrested. This is law and order. Could be a judge, um, a lawyer, doctor. Speaking true here, okay? This is something that's very... Three people's lives are changing. This could be you and your children. But things are changing here. You're speaking your truth. You're very... In, you're very intelligent and, and wise and mature. You're not going to be dealing with this. You know, this is something that's very jealous, unstable, corrupt, um, a bully. They get into relationships to get what they want materialistic, get materialistically out of people. Uh, they'd be claiming they have no money now if you're going to a lawyer. You know what I mean? I don't want to give them money. They're stingy. Um, they're not working. They're unstable. They're jealous. They're lazy, codependent and clingy. And this is what they want for you. Yeah. They're very satisfied here. They're greedy and selfish, okay? They think they're, they're God's gift here. Giving their cup of love to everybody. This is somebody that has casual hookups everywhere, right? They're very insincere. You can't trust what they say, okay? They, they, they chase you until they get you. You're a love bomber. And then they're gone. They make false promises. There's no follow through. And the truth is out. You, you faced your fears where it came to this person. You're looking at, you have the proof and evidence. You're going, yeah, okay, or this could be medical tests coming through, okay? There's an, a, an STD of some sort. Yeah, if somebody got caught, they have to come clean here. You're letting them go. You're rejecting them. They're abandoned. They're having an emotional outburst. No new beginnings for them, okay? They're very immature and insincere. There's no new beginnings. Or they don't want you having a new beginning without them. Yeah, the truth has come out. Yeah, you have a new beginning elsewhere. You're cutting them out of your life. Okay. You're going to have that conversation here. You're cutting through the bullshit. You don't want the bullshit anymore. Yep, you're not going to be talking to them anymore. This is blocking, blocking communication. This is a backfire. This is bad news. You have to communicate. Or they have to communicate this bad news to you. They got an STD. They're greedy and selfish. They're trying to protect themselves here. They want to hold on to you. They want a new beginning with you. Or they think you're a fool. Yeah, this was an injustice, okay? This was unfair. They're blocked. They don't know what to do. This is an injustice here. They're scared. They have no integrity, loyalty, or honesty. They can't overcome something. They could be going to jail. Maybe they were spreading disease. I don't know. Or they're in, stuck in their head. They're stuck in their head about the, how happy you made them, about the family you had together. And now they're sick. This is a scandal. They're scared because they lied to you, okay? They're vindictive and they're vile. Uh, they were jealous, I don't know. Or they're scared because you're really going to be mad once you find out they got an STD, okay? And they have to tell you. A third-party situation. Now they want your help? I don't know. A marriage, a commitment, a celebration here. It's not going anywhere. It's stopped here. Out of control. They don't want to take accountability. They can't overcome they don't want you moving on, though. Poor judgment. They're getting some karma, okay? Judging you harshly, or they're going to be judged harshly because you let them go. They don't want you judging them harshly. They're angry. You let them go. They're stalking you, possibly. Oh, obviously, we saw that. They're a stalker, or their third parties are stalking you. They lied. They spread rumor, gossip, and slander. They could have abused you, but you healed your heart. They see you, they healed your heart, and they don't like it. There's no reconciling here, okay? They traumatized you. Unrequited love. Blocked. Okay, not going anywhere. There's not going to be a reconciliation. They do want to come back, though. They kept repeating a bad pattern of behavior. Didn't want to learn a lesson. They're unstable here. They're codependent and clingy. They're un, uh, they're very insecure. Try to make you feel insecure. Okay, they're financially all over the place. They're in trouble. Always going around acting like they're, they're single, but they're not single. Or if they come back around again wanting you back, they're not single. They're going through a dark night of the soul. Good. Or maybe this triggered you going into a dark night of the soul and now you're putting your past hurts behind you it's over it's over they could be also the uh could be a terminal std they have and this is what they're facing they're going through a dark night of the soul or this is you know other people are facing it take it for whatever it is this is change you're fine though 
everything is fine even though they stabbed you so many times and had so many um, they're acting like everything's fine but I don't know they stabbed many people in the back here they're this is a nightmare for them okay instability the breadcrumbs you used and abused you they can't work they're having financial difficulties this wasn't fair or balanced or equally yoked they may want to come towards you as if everything is fine that they changed trying to justify and rationalize their actions try to look like a big leader or something but they're trying to manipulate you some more okay with they're going to use your love and your emotions against you to get back into a relationship with you but yeah i think you're going to go to court i think you're going to be divorcing them you don't want their burdens no you're putting it down you're moving on in life okay and they're gonna be left out in the cold because yeah no emotional fulfillment or happiness you're you're in search this is eight of cups you're in search of your ninth and tenth cup which is emotional fulfillment and happiness you know happily ever after they're facing the unknown they wanted you to go with them out into you know either it's poverty or it's just emotional mental poverty or poverty in a relationship you know always outside looking in it's an empty victory they were very abusive. They caused a lot of chaos. Like I said, they're a chaos agent. You're not dealing with it. You took the high road and you walked away. They were gaslighting you and playing games, pitting people against you, right, for a long time. Yeah. No new beginnings for them, okay? They don't want to do the work. So you have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You have self-worth. You know you deserve better. They're not going to come correct to you. They're just, you know, you're not in, you're not dealing with it anymore. You're taking ownership over your own life. You know that if you invite them back into your life, nothing's going to change. You want somebody that's reliable, that you could depend upon. Okay? It might take a while to heal. It might take a while to get there. But you're doing it. This is out of the four knights in the deck, the knight of pentacles is the only one you want to deal with. The only one you want to be. It's the only one that makes it to the end. Okay? So it may be the divine... Your spirit team are testing you. This is a test. Have you integrated these lessons? You have. You've passed the test. There's no new beginnings with this person. They're not willing to put the work in. They're lazy, okay? They're not willing to give you anything. They're in trouble. They took a huge gamble. They're all, Maybe it's a gambling addiction as well. They're in debt. They want to come back, right? They want to re reignite something that, nah. It's just going to slow your, your forward motion down. If you've already made strides in your life, healing, getting back to who you truly are, getting back on track. They only want to just dis destabilize you. It's a no-go. Uh, I can't tell you what to do. I can only tell you what the cards and the energy is saying. You're going to have to go within and make that decision, okay? Because everybody's story is different. This may not be your reading. That's what I mean in the beginning when I do the spiel. Go within. Find out if this is truly your story. If, if this person, trust and believe, if you're really done, your soul will not let you go back. I've been there, okay, where my soul just won't let me pick up the phone. It won't let me move forward with somebody. You know what I'm saying? It'll make me run the other way. So self-worth is, is tantamount here, okay? You know who you are. You know who, what you deserve and what you don't. It's a relationship, a divorce. You guys aren't on the same page, okay? Hope. They have a lot of hope that they can block your forward motion, that they can block your emotions, you know, play your emotions. I don't know. Go within, use your intuition. You went within and did that soul work. They're hiding and cloaking yet again, okay? So they want to mend things with you. Fix our connection. Why? They're a runner. I don't want to run anymore. Well, sorry. Um, even if that's true, I think they outstate their welcome with you. They've played so many games in the past, saying this to you in the past, that they cried wolf. You know what I mean? You're not going to put yourself in this situation any longer. They want your understanding. I see your side of the story. I don't know. Forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. So it's, I'm struggling. I'm this. I'm that. It's never how you feel. Okay? They're fake flexing. Acts rich, flosses money. Acts fancy and shows off. They're stalking you. Stalking, watching, and obsessed. Okay? You're taking care of you. This is self-care. If you don't take care of you, who else is going to, right? Or that's what spirit's suggesting you do right now. Bohemian. I don't know. Maybe they want an open relationship. They want to live like a bohemian. I don't know. They're going from place to place, not taking anybody, taking life seriously. I don't know. Or, I don't know. Where's the book? What does a bohemian mean even? Okay. 
I don't know where I put the book. Oh, it's right here. All right. Let's quickly look that up. Because it could be good, could be bad. Ordinary, ask the Bahamian, sniffing the air. That's not for me. There's no worse offense. Delectably louch. She flows fabulously through her color outside the line's life. She prefers the gaiety and tragedy, tragedy of artists, actors, and musicians and surrounds herself with cats and lovers, fragrant smoke, and full-length gilded mirrors. What tethers others to reality, marriage, children, house, and carpool she uses as, uses as a sash for her satin kimono. Pshaw, the I can't even talk. The Bohemian isn't hardwired for caregiving in the in the traditional sense. Lunches might not be packed, but there's always coal train coming from the speakers. She never means to hurt anyone who falls in love with her vagabond ways. So somebody's not serious about life. Okay, that's what I was picking up in the first place. There's more to it, but we're gonna leave it there. Let's get the angels on it. Oh no, how do you want to end this? Okay, we'll use. Wisdom of the Oracle deck. How's this ending, please, Spirit? So they they don't have a one place to call home. They have many places, okay? And that's how they want to live their lives, and that's up. That's good for them. If other people are in agreement with it, good for them, okay? Well, obviously, you don't want to live like this, or you don't want to live like this anymore. And you're, it's your right to change your mind if you have, and or it's your right to say no, okay? How are we ending the read? Please, for the collective, what is the final outcome? Chopwood, 42. Third party situation, using your higher wisdom, ascending, making a decision, right? You're going towards Treasure Island. You went within and did that soul, soul work. Yeah, Treasure Island. You want to be situated. You want to be in one place, right? Have all your belongings in one place and not scattered. This This lifestyle is not... A blessing for you okay this person was here to get you off your path 22 okay master builder they are not okay yeah flexible you're not gonna be flexible with them any longer 19 you this could you could have gotten sick they're they're sick maybe obviously they're sick with an std this is not ideal for you 19 they're hiding cloaking a lot you're not happy in this relis a relationship right and this is stagnating one and nine is ten is Ten in reverse is the will of fortune. They've stagnated you. It's not going anywhere. Or they may want to come back and, and whisper sweet nothings in your ear, but that's what it is, just nothing. Take it for whatever it is. This is not fair. 38 in reverse. That's 11 in reverse. It's unjust, okay? It's not fair. So chop wood, 42. This, if this lifestyle is good for other people, good, but it's not for you. I don't want people getting upset with me because I'm saying whatever I'm saying, Okay. It is just not for you. So the essential meaning, being grounded in everyday experience and humility. The Oracle's message, there are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it is in full blossom. The mundane act of pulling off dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to be let in leaving it to be, to let nature take its course, is an important step in, ma step in manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goal brings you into a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to, re to receive your aha moments, which bring you ever closer to what you seek. So you're coming to that conclusion, this is not for me. Um, you need to to have quiet around you you need I, i'm picking up somebody maybe you're traveling with this person getting into third parties polyamorous things you just want what's yours you don't want to share it with anybody i get it you know share a room share your clothes share your money this is yours okay nine treasure island the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, the results of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. So this person obviously brings in people that have money established, may sell your house, let's go on the road, let's all live like bohemians, you know, share, share, share alike. And you're going, well, wait a minute, I'm getting next to nothing in return. That's what I'm picking up, okay? I mean, I also kind of flashed on... Um, you know, those polygamous cults or there's, you know, I guess more, there's some Mormons that do that. 
and you have to put all your money in a pot and you're the one that makes the majority of the money and they're all living off you. That's what I'm picking up too, okay? Take it for whatever it is. Nine, the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, the results of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. You've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance and suddenly in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot, because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. X, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really emphasize the X marks the spot, you know what I'm saying? But others may not be so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long hard work na navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. In all aspects of your life at this time you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic. So that is true. But it's also true that you're not here to be taken advantage of. Maybe this is a spiel that these people are saying to you. You share it with us, it's going to come back on you. I'm picking up, now it could be a polyamory, it could be a polygamous thing, it could be somebody that's cheating on you and living this lifestyle going from one person to the next and you're, you're all providing, this whole group of people providing for this one person who's pulling the wool over your eyes and doesn't see anything wrong with it. I think that you're coming into some sort of money now, a job promotion, an inheritance, a lottery win, something, or a new job, you know what I mean? And you're going, no, I don't want to share it with these people anymore. Or this person. Take it for whatever it is, okay? I don't blame you. 22 in reverse. That's the protection message. You're not getting what you put in back in any way. Emotionally, physically, financially. I don't blame you, okay? It's true that when you give from the heart, it comes back on, comes back to you. And now it's coming back to you. But is it really there to, for you to share with these people that took advantage of you? You have to go within and do that work, okay? So humility is called for now as grace is an unearned gift. You didn't gain this by your own desires or actions. To be who you need to be, you can no longer do what you did. So there you go. Spirit's telling you what to do. In a way, you have hit rock bottom and what is required now is nothing less than total surrender. Then you will be blessed. So you're coming into some money. Maybe it's taking this time coming to, towards you it's because you've got to clean this up. Chop wood. you got to... Out with the old, in with the new. Open the door, kick them out if they're in their, in your home. Okay, take it for whatever it is. Let's get the angels on this. And then we get some angel numbers. Whatever's happening here is not fair. You have to go within and put yourself first. Okay, yeah, not of swords. Something's going to happen quickly. They might get mad at you when you speak your, your truth. 59. They want to reconcile with you. So this has already happened possibly. And or you're, you're trying to maintain balance. Okay, what's fair is fair. The all-pervading God, intellectual richness, protects fertility of women, makes children respectful toward their parents. Maybe they have children with multiple partners, including you. Take it for whatever it is. Or maybe it's children coming in and using you. Take it for whatever it is. The moon. There's a lot of lies, secrecy. Pulling the wool over your eyes, okay? Working behind your back against you, okay? You're tapping into your intuition. They're going to be emotional. Somebody's going to be emotional. Take it for whatever it is. God is my strength. Gabriel. They're getting the message here. Or you're going to have to give these people the message. Divine re revelation reveals messages has the power to destroy. Oh, you're destroying my dreams. Don't do this. Yeah, they put a lot of burdens on your back, okay? It's over. You're ending a cycle. 53. Integrity, loyalty, and honesty. Resilience, strength, and courage. God humiliating the proud, okay? Spiritual communication influences religious men, teachers, and men of law. Take it for whatever it is. You could be dealing with somebody that you or them that works with the law. Or it could be teachers and or religion and or just men. I don't know. Hi, priestess. Not talking to them. The angels are guiding you. 44. You're tapping into your intuition and in your higher wisdom here. You know they've been keeping secrets behind your back. Okay? Success. Protection for magistrates. I don't know. Take it for whatever that is. Hermit. Going within and doing the work. Something's over. Okay? Time is up. So it's all about doing the work. It could be an investigation. So if you are in this polygamous type of scenario, not everybody is, okay? So this is just for a few. You might have to go to court. You might be getting arrested. I don't know. You might be going to court for a divorce. They don't want this divorce because, oh gosh, how dare you 
move on without me. I want this money to never end. Take it for whatever it is, okay? Where's the, uh, yeah, angel numbers. This could go different ways. They put a lot of burdens and pressure on your back. You want this over and done with. I'm, I'm really picking that up. 13, 13. It's over. Starting fresh. What I tell you? Encouragement, goals, foundations, creative ventures, communication. Step out of your comfort zone. You're about to create something meaningful. All your skills and talents will bring you auspicious profits. Profits. Build up your confidence and trust in your decisions. Don't let them talk you out of it. You have a, a talent or an opportunity that's going to bring you a lot of money. You want this over with. Where they can't lay claim to anything that's yours. 0550. The eye candy. Wow, they think they're God's gift. what I tell you? Intuition, inspired action, beauty, art, socializing, flow, potential, romance. Get some fresh air or call some of your pals over. Take a look around you. There is so much natural beauty waiting to be discovered. Either you will soon become involved in an exciting new project or you will go out on a date. Put your charisma to use everywhere. Spread your charm around. So maybe they want you out on a date or you will be coming into a new relationship or just new friendship, a new endeavor something exciting that's coming okay people could be looking at you like your eye candy i don't know or maybe you're just good with just looking at the eye candy not inviting it into your life at the moment take it for whatever it is seven 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 perseverance and you have persevered so keep going change of perspective reflection inner strength wisdom and enlightenment so you did go in you did that soul work that shadow work right and getting in touch with who you are and what you want and what you don't want Change of perspective, reflection, inner strength, wisdom, enlightenment. There's a need for change of perspective or on whatever has taken over you now. If you want to succeed, you need to keep going down the road you're on. Reach for the wisdom within and then you'll just know what the right next step is. They want to get you off your path. Like I said, no, no, no. You can't be doing great without me. You know what I mean? 0606, commitment. They want a commitment out of you, but they don't want to commit to you. That's what I'm picking up. Loyalty, responsibility, truth, love, light, spiritual, realm, and growth, and solutions. They want you to commit to them, but they don't want to be committed to you. Unbelievable. Let's get one of these um, universal cards on it. because Just for fun. Okay? Don't You don't have to take these universal cards seriously. Okay? It's just a... What do we need to know here? Closing this down, please, Spirit. What's that? Uh, I can't make this up. Stay in your own, own lane. Okay? That's what Spirit's telling you to tell them. You're on a path where this is yours and yours alone, where you get the credit, where you get the love, where you get the happiness and you get to bask in it. They looked at you because you were kind and sweet as a simp. They looked at your kindness as weakness. You're, and they think they're a legend now. You're going to get this legend. They're, they're working out of their shadow. They're hiding stuff from you, okay? You're coming into some sort of legacy. You're going to be known as a legend here. Maybe nobody's ever said this to this person. Go get fucked. Stay in your own lane. That makes you a legend. Congratulations. I hope you like the read. Congratulations. Stay the course. Don't get taken off your path. Beautiful things are coming towards you. And I'm very proud of you. And until next time, take care.